I wish it would do it the right way, but for right now, this is the best I can get it to do. Because I swore we were friends. I don't think you added me as a friend. What? Did you send me a request? No, I, I don't remember doing that. Okay, cool. Well, Facebook, look who we have here. The very amazing, amazing, sweet, beautiful Zola La Loca. Hi, Zola. Hi, how are you, Linda? Good, good. How are you doing in this pandemic? Oh, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? That's true. If we look at it the right way, we'll come out of it better off, I think. Somehow. Yeah. Some way. Well, I think it's great that you're doing these interviews. Thank you. I'm having... I, it started because I was so damn depressed at the world. i like, what the hell? The whole world's blowing apart. And I started calling up people, and then it made me feel better. It made them feel better. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Thank you, though, for noticing. I'm having so much fun. I actually want to get out of bed. Hey, I'm happy to hear it. That's amazing. Yeah. What have you been doing during the pandemic to stay busy? So you're a student. What did you graduate in? Uh, marketing and advertising. Oh, wow. And so you've been writing, according to what I read about you, you've been writing for about 10 years, writing comedy. And then, and then like within two years of lately, in the last two years is when you got on stage and you've been headlining already. That's so incredible. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I worked really hard. I mean, I worked really hard to get here. And so, do you credit the fact that you studied as a child at age 13, studying the likes of George Carlin as part of the reason why your career took off so well, so fast? Yes. Um, I gotta say that when I started watching stand up, I wasn't really thinking that I was uh, studying. I was just really enjoying these stories and really having a lot of fun listening to it. Um, and then, like, it just was something that was really integral to my, like, my personality and my identity. I love stand up and. It just continued, and I never thought that it would be something I would do. Like, it just, you know, somebody once told me I was funny, and I thought, maybe I could do that. And that's it. Now, how do you describe the type of comedy that you do? You know what's funny is that I, I guess, um, you know, I, I don't really know all of, like, the technical terms. Like, if you go on Wikipedia and you look up a comedian, it'll tell you, like, they do irreverent humor or spoonerisms, and I am not too familiar, like, with all of the jargon. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm just doing what feels right, I guess. I would guess from just the little bit of seeing you on Zoom, I would say that you probably have a dry sense of humor with some sarcasm in it. I don't know if that's even true, but if I had to put you in a box, that's where I'd put you. That's not a bad box to be in. Oh, heck no. That's really, the, that's the upper echelon of comedy there. Is that, you know, anybody can get up and tell all wet jokes, but to get people to laugh over something dry? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. I like those kinds of challenges. For me, um, you know, 
I see it, I really respect the art. And I see it as something, as, you know, its own individual journey. Each joke is its own journey. Yes. Its own fantasy land. Every joke has its own life, you know, like it can, it can live, it can live inside of this bit or that bit. You yeah, are brave. So What's that? That would be hard, right? Like without mentioning poop, you know? Yes. Like, we're not going to talk about farts today, kids. I'm sorry. I, I know you wanted to, but... Man. So I have a couple of little premises that I'm working on in that situation. Um, you know, so I like to just keep myself fresh. One time I was at a train station and it was filled with children, grade school children. And I went up to the teachers and said, can I tell them jokes? And they go, well, they don't have a fully developed sense of humor. Are you sure you want to? And I, oh yeah, let me add them. I couldn't get any of the kids to laugh. Not one. Or pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I I think that's so cool that you're willing to bite off that group of people to make laugh. I think that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's definitely going to be a work to get there right now. Uh, but I think that eventually I can do it. So That's so cool. It'll be a great challenge, you know? I'd like to go back to your name. So you have a name in you know, on your birth certificate and your driver's license, and then you have your stage name, and it's Zola La Loca. So would you mind telling me where that comes from and what it means? So it's smart humor. I guess so. Yeah. Wow. So you opened for Monique? Yes. Um, I got five minutes. So, you know, it was still a start, and it was still Monique, and it was still at the SLS, and it was still on the strip. So I didn't get booed off stage, and people seemed to enjoy themselves. They were a little confused at first, like, who is this? Uh-huh. That's great. And Mike Tyson was in the audience. What was that like? You know what? I did hear him howl. <laughs> and I thought that was amazing. Um, yeah, I was glad to hear that. I thought, wow, I just made Mike Tyson howl. I, oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Congratulations on that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. How old's your daughter, Zola? I have uh, two daughters. One is 12 and the other is 9. Wow. And you, you got a degree in marketing? Yes. And is that the type of work you're doing? It is. 
And how's that going? It's going well. Uh, everything I've learned has been working, so I guess they, they knew what they were talking about. <laughs> What's the silliest thing you've seen happen at a Mayaker show that you've gone to? Oh my gosh. Yeah, and my friend sent me a picture of that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I will be right there. Please don't leave. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. Oh my gosh. Have you? What's the funnest thing that's happened when you've been around comics? When did you enjoy yourself the most, on or off stage? Yeah, it is electric, isn't it? There's an electricity about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Like, if you're in one of those rooms where the electricity's going on, it's like there's nothing you can do wrong. You know? I mean, sure, you could, but for the most part, you know, they're going to... What? Yeah, yeah. So we put on a show in December, December 7th, uh, at the writer's block. And it was called Girls Aren't Funny. And there was um, five comedians in total. And, yeah, six, I think. It was, there was a lot going on that night. But it was a lot of fun. It's kind of an odd name for a show for women, you know, like... The point of it is that you're willing to go up there and they're they're expecting you not to be funny, so that makes it funny. I don't know. It's kind of a riff on the men who say, well, girls aren't funny. You guys are just not funny. There's nothing funny about you. Got it. Now I'm on board. Yeah, now I'd want to go on that show. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't you hate that? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, everything's a work in progress, but we just wanted to put it together to have a good time and, you know, bring some gals and comedy, you know? So, where, where do you want... Joel, so where do you want your comedy career to take you? Um, if you could have your way. Yeah. Who's been the biggest inspiration when you've grown? Not, I know you listened to George Carlin and you loved watching comedy, but when you got ready to go on stage, did you surf the internet to find somebody that was like your muse? I just wanted to 
dudes at one time. Um, yeah, so I didn't really have any, like, inspirations. I barely knew what I was doing. Um, no, I, I like Mitch Hedberg, but as far as, like, performance-wise, I feel like that's been more of an evolution, you know? Yeah. So, have you ever heard of the name Elaine Boozler, or is that too old of a reference for you to know who I'm talking about? Um, yeah, I have not heard that name. Because the whole time you're talking, I'm seeing the same kind of mannerisms and pacing and timing as Elaine Boozler. And she's like my age, so you probably wouldn't have known of her. Super famous in the older realm of us boomers, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, I see so much of Elaine Boozler's comedy in the way you speak. Because her comedy is just like who she is. She's not putting anything on. So, yeah. Yeah, I can see that in you. So, you're from Vegas. You grew up here, you live here, and you're self, is, it says you're self-employed? Mm -hmm. So you have your own marketing company that you do? Yeah, I have some ah. uh, different contracts and different clients. How cool is that? So like, what kind of people hire you to do marketing? Because I'm inquisitive. Well, Right, but I just wanted to know what kind of marketing you do. Is that a sentence you don't want to answer in this podcast? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Cool, let's move on. Um, so comedy, I, I have a certain style of comedy, but I don't like watching my style. I don't like watching people similar to me. So what kind of comedy that is not like yours makes you crack up? Um, I mean, geez, you know. Used to love Dane Cook. Eddie Murphy's still a classic. Eddie Murphy has made it. Still, still amazing. Um, Dave Chappelle, of course. Oh, you know? yeah. Hmm, I never heard that name. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, she was on, I might be missing her last name, but Nightlinger, no? I don't know. But she was on uh, Comedy Central. Okay. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Oh, cool. So, I don't know. Um, I just see so, I see you as a star in comedy. That's what's, you know, like I see you as making it in comedy. And I haven't even seen you do comedy. That's, that's, uh, hey, you know, I don't want to tell God my plans, you know? I know. So have people told you that, that you have the it factor? Because that's what I'm picking up. It's like if you're, if you're around enough people, you know when somebody has the capability, the, in, the X factor, the it factor. Have people told you that you have that? Yeah, well, this is awesome. Oh, my gosh. So, of all the things that you've done, writing comedy, performing comedy, being on shows, making Mike Tyson howl, opening for Monique, what, of all of them, what's been the favorite moment of it all? Oh, that special room where the light, everything was perfect. Yeah. 
that's a great way to end, you know, like, can't think of a better way to have your last show be killer. I bet you can't wait for this to be over so you can get back up on stage. You know, yeah, I guess I got it, you know? Yeah. I have a bunch of jokes that I haven't tried out, and I'm working on some things that I've, that I've finally, like, almost done cooking, you know? Nice. Very cool. I can't wait to find out when you're going to do comedy for grade schoolers. That will be so cool. Yeah, that's still going to be a few, a few years out, but I'm working on it. That is... I think it's a good market. Oh, totally. Oh, ten, ten minutes of jokes to some kids and, you know, be like, hey, kids, you two can be a clown when you grow up. Yeah. <laughs> like, even writing books for kids, you know, like, there's so many... So many children that don't know it's okay to be funny or don't have a role model. Yeah, yeah. No, my kid, my kids are super funny, and they say things. I mean, I my daughters, she's they're subjects of my jokes sometimes. So. Yeah, that's in, in, cool. the best, in the best way. Not, I'm not trying to embarrass them or anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, gosh, is there? Um, any place on the internet where I can promote you to get people to follow you or build up your numbers? Yeah, I have a web, I have a page on Facebook, Zola La Loca. Yeah. And then I have a website too. What's your... ZolaLaLoca.com Got it. I'm going to become a friend of yours. I'm going to go look at your page and everybody else... Yeah. And do you, are you on YouTube with anything? I actually have that, um, that special posted, the one from December. Oh, <gasps> you don't. Is it Zola La Loca on YouTube? Yes, it is. Oh, you're so easy to follow. You know what? It's got to be. It's got to be. I know. That's what, that's the smartest thing because you go to follow people and they got all different kind of names. It's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. How about our Instagram? Do you want numbers there? Same thing. Zola La Loca. <laughs> wow, I love you. And so, ha are you accepting PayPal or Cash App or Venmo? Or are you good? Or yeah, I do, am accepting all of that. That's dope. That's do you, crazy that you're offering that. People need to people need to be aware that comics lives. You know, we're not seen as essential, so we're not getting money right now. So. What's a, what's a Venmo or a Cash App for you, Zola? Uh, the Venmo is uh, at Chola, C-H-O-L-A, P-U-N-K, Chola Punk. Okay. Yep. And the Cash App is dollar sign, T-A-R-O-T-L-V. Cool. Very good. I'll get that on there. So I did eight interviews today, and yours, it's so fun. And then um, late tonight, I'll get all your, all these things added to the post that I just put out with only your name on it. And then check it, I'll send you a message, ignore it till morning, and check the accuracy, please, and then, then uh, share it with your people, please. I can't wait to see you out. Oh, thank you, Zola. And I can't wait to see you out in public where we're doing comedy and I get to hear you live. And yeah. Yep. Yeah, I got, some, I got some new deep insights for everybody. Ooh, that, I, my stuff is not very deep. Mine's, I've just been coming up with just silly stuff. So that's, that's the lane I'm best in is not trying to be real smart. <laughs> It works. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I take it too far sometimes. <laughs> I know, I don't think so, but I bet you you can pull it off. I can't. <laughs> huh? We'll have to find out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zola. Take Thank care. You. Have a great night. Lovely speaking with you. Lovely speaking right. with you too. Bye.
She's a sweetheart if there ever was. Oh my gosh, I have to go friend her.